Welcome back to yet another coin hunt and possibly the conclusion of the bags that might contain full bags of coins. Uh, I think I might be very gutted to find a full bag of Benjamin Bunnies on one for one reason and that is because of the Easter Bunny hunt and what could have been but I don't think I had this bag in my possession at that point but also on the other side, the flip side, it would be great to find a full bag of Benjis because then at least I can look for rotation errors. Right, it's the first coin hunt of the month, so therefore, I'm quickly going to go through the book. I can probably do this in real time. The first page is full, the second is full, the third is full, and currently have all the way up until the coronation coin. Then we get over to the Olympics. I've got a full page there, which looks amazing. Now I'm missing three and a further two. That's all I need to complete this book, believe it or not. So don't think I'm going to find them this week because I'm pretty sure that these are all putbacks that I'm going through. And if I did find an Olympic, it would be amazing. But who knows? Maybe next week we'll be back into having normal coinage to look through. As well as what I've just been through there with the book. If you check out the description below, you're going to find information on NIFCs and low mintage coins that I'm looking for. As well as that, mintage figures for 50p coins in circulation, as long as the mintage figures are available. Good information down there, go and check it out. I'm looking at this bag first and foremost because it does look like it's full of the Battle of Britain coins. So that's quite interesting because I can obviously look at those and see whether or not I've got a rare one. Right, I'll go through those and just start speeding the video up straight away because I can see that they're all Battle of Britain. Oh, wow. I'll just go through them briefly, but these all look like Team GBs. Let's see. So the last bag and this one just seems to be quite normal. That is Victoria Cross, the medals. Well, I've made a complete hash of that, but there we go. I put some coins back because they folded over. But another Victoria Cross, the medals. And we've got a full bag here by the looks of it of Battle of Hastings. I'll go through them really quickly, but if there's anything different, I'll stop and show you. Okay, well, I thought it might be, but it's not. I've just seen public libraries, but it's not a full bag of them by the looks of it. So there we go. There's that one. Oh, wow. I can't remember the last time I found a territory coin. That's amazing. It's been a long, long time. That is the capture of Gibraltar. There we go. 2006. I was going to say it's slightly warped, but not enough that it shows up on camera. But, well, that's, that's very nice. I haven't seen that coin for a long time, let alone, like I said, can't remember the last time I actually found a territory. Happy days.
Oh, Olympic coin. Cool. Boxing. Don't need it for the book, but that's a great find. Wouldn't it be lovely if these were all Olympic coins? I can already see they're not. There we go. Found stacks of these in the last few weeks, I think. But Sherlock Holmes. Oh, and a Benjamin Bunny. There we go. So, quick rotation check. That one is fine. Okay. This is going to be really interesting. I can't actually see what these coins are. But the redeeming fact is that so far I found one Benjamin Bunny in this £250 bag as far as I can remember and this one of the stacks last week maybe had about four or five Peter Rabbits in it so basically unless this is a full bag of something rabbit related I don't think that these, this £250 would have clinched it this year anyway on the Easter Bunny hunt so let's just see what's in here this looks fairly normal, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I don't think that this would have won it anyway. So, that makes me feel a lot better. Right, let's just check this last bag then. And do we have anything? We have got a 2017 there. So, that's a Tom Kitten. Can say if that's a Benjamin Bunny. It might have been close, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Paddington at the tower. Anything else? No. Okay, well, that's quite odd. In the first video that I did with £50 worth of this 250 bag, there was three stacks. Last week, there was three stacks. And this week, there was three stacks. There we go. Okay, so, interesting cool that I found an Olympic though gives me a little bit of hope to see maybe something in the Shields or Britannias but I'll go and check those out and if you join me in a second I'll let you know everything that I found for today nope nothing but it doesn't matter I'm sure that by next week we'll be back onto normal bags and maybe find something interesting it is interesting that I found an Olympic though not what I need but still chuffed to bits right let's go through them I have got a complete stack of Battle of Britain, Team GB, and Battle of Hastings. And then I found two Victoria Cross the Medals, Tom Kitten, Public Libraries, Sherlock Holmes, Paddington at the Tower, Benjamin Bunny, and then my two star finds for today. Olympic coin, boxing, and my first territory in as long as I can remember. That is from Gibraltar. And chuffed to bits with it to be honest with you like definitely a keeper both of these I think everything else is going to go back in to be honest okay i want to know in the comments section below what have you found recently either you've been coin hunting yourselves or maybe just found something interesting in your change but like i said leave it in the comments section below because it always interests me if you're new around here why not hit that subscribe button because i release new coin content weekly thanks for watching